This conference will now session. be recorded. It's a technical session. It's all about today's topic of discussion is explainable AI model compression. I, before that, I would like to have a short polling. How many of you are not good, at least familiar with deep learning? Please uh, give me one uh, signal. Deep learning, how many of you? Okay, nine only available. Out of nine, maybe two only active. Out of two, one only may text. This is the proportion. How many of you built at least one model with a deep learning, neural network model? Oh my God, then who am I is taking session? Anyone can give answer now. Nah? Deep learning, whether you are done. No matter, fine, not it, fine, fantastic. That's why, because directly if I go and talk about explainable AI and uh, model compression, that is a latest technique. It's a kind of uh, ongoing research, it's going on, and people are working uh, more, it's a kind of green area now. So I cannot touch upon, no. That is the reason I wanted to have. So it's uh, good that I have opened this document. First half an hour or uh, uh, 45 minutes, I wanted to invest on foundations of deep learning. Then I will move on to that. If time time permits only, I can address. See, I am. I'll show you how much material I'm having on uh, explainable AI and uh, model compression. But it would not be justice. I have plenty of notebooks around uh, uh, the projects which I worked. Uh, more than 25 I have. But the thing is, how much you can chew is the matter. Explainable AI. I have prepared very well. Uh, this is the topic given. Directly, if we go and talk about explainable AI. At least one deep learning model, if you would have done practically, understood in and out. Only one only, I'm telling you. Any one project, if you would have done, this is worth enough spending. This is advanced. People thought of, see, initially, we will uh, think of something to develop. Then once it has come, we will be going for version. Once version has come, we'll think of advancement of that product. It is like that. See, wet grinder. Uh, 30 years ago, the wet grinder which is invented, go and look at. Now, what is a wet grinder available? Automated, even we no need to touch uh, uh, the batter. Automatically, everything it will clean and it will tilt and it will pour in the bowl. Everything is uh, happening. That is called evolution. That evolution never it will end. It will keep going. Today, we will talk one thing, then we will mix with another discipline. It is like that. So, model compression explainable AA is ultimate. I can say that it is a kind of uh, the recent uh, um, scenario which is going. So, before that, let me spend some time on introduction to deep learning. Then we move on to the next topic. Uh, those who are very new also, it will be useful. Those who know something and you want to go further also, it will be useful. So, look at it here. Deep learning, when we say deep learning, this is not new machine learning when we say machine learning also not new that we should be aware machine learning 1953 itself started if you look at here new deep learning when it has come the year 1940 machine learning also around the same machine learning different timeline i have a different see mechanical pit 1943 only started machine learning then slowly computing machinery it has come, slowly it had come. We are right now working with GANs, Generative Adversarial Network. Now we have come to 2017, Capsule Network. So now quantum computing with uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, these are all those uh, uh, research. We are taking it forward. So it is nothing new. Now the data is more, digitization is more. So people are preferring to make it to become uh, automated and the machine learning, uh, deep learning, these are all the word that you say. What is the difference between traditional programming and machine learning program? Data and the program, you will be submitting to the machine, you will get output. Whereas in the machine learning, you will give, this is what labeled data, supervised learning we understood in the previous, uh, very first session. Data and the output, together we used to give it to the machine. Then machine will learn and the machine will give the program that rules. What is the program is learning weights, learning parameters, rules. This is what it gives. This is a core difference between machine learning and this. 
artificial intelligence is a bigger picture both theory mathematical coding all together is called uh, artificial intelligence the next uh, bigger subset is machine learning we can say deep learning as machine learning but not vice versa vice versa we should not tell that's all nothing more in general you can call it as i am machine learning expertise no need to tell deep learning separately whereas if you are good at deep learning never it is uh, possible that you are not knowing machine learning never ever that scenario will come uh, this both are uh, interrelated so never we can say that uh, this i know this i don't know now coming to the next point machine learning this all not uh, so great thing to understand just quickly we'll go through it works on small amount of data it works on larger amount of data here dependent on low end machine this is dependent on high end machine next it divides the task into subtasks solves them individually finally combine the results solves the problem end to end from the beginning takes lesser time to train takes longer time to train this one testing may in the time may increase testing time testing time it is lesser then another thing is machine learning the difference is here this is data hungry here definitely neural network neurons perceptrons the neural network any type of network the way of connection only will vary from one network to another network so this is what uh, the thing we need to understand next let us move further working how it works understand the problem and check the feasibility for the deep learning identifies the relevant data and prepare the data preparing means pre processing transformation exploration all together dimensional reduction or feature extraction feature selection then choose a deep learning model train the algorithm test the model performance where explainable ai and the machine learning comes if you look at well, the moment you are good at one deep learning one neural network building project if you have we can uh, olden days i'm telling nowadays it is possible what is happening the moment we say neural network collection of neurons together <coughs> it is called as a layer then it will be connected to the next layer densely connected so what is densely connected every neuron in a layer this is called a layer it is connected to every other neuron of another layer when it happens what is happening in the neuron what is happening in the layer what is happening in the tire complete tire uh, it will have stages they will tell input layer a uh, hidden layer output layer like that they used to call then what is happening in every level what is happening in the input layer what is happening in the hidden layer what is happening in the output layer they don't tell they will tell a fair idea initially there are no packages no supporting mechanism recent days several language tools have come you can even explore what is happening in the neuron level you can even explore what is happening in the layer level what is happening in the hidden layer everything is possible that is called explainable ai what is model compression i will connect in the relevant context why deep learning is important this is the question someone asks we should be in the position to answer look at the amount of data is more and more this is x axis performance what will happen amount of data is more machine learning will perform ugliest way or poor performance so machine learning stops its ability its capability stops here older learning algorithms means machine learning algorithm in order to overcome this issue only people had gone for deep learning algorithm that's fine now big data is also possible to train if the data the moment you see it is a big data what is a big data 1 lakh record 2 lakh record gb record terabyte uh, the gigabyte these all those types of records can be said as <coughs> big data it has seven views volume variety velocity veracity variability visualization value in my youtube channel one of the video i have articulated this all you can look at what is this all about seven ways what is the need of ai if you look at 
a little statistical distribution. The global population is 7.7 .7 billion. Out of that, 5.11 billion unique mobile users. These many billion have the internet access. These many billion have the social media. So totally, 94% of them are accessing over the mobile. So because of this, business model has been changed. 100 years ago, if you look at monopoly, monarchy, only one business in a city, we will watch old movie, there will be one person selling one goods. There would be another person trying to sell these goods. The war between these two guys only. Nothing more. This fellow will kill this person or close the business. This fellow will try to kill this person, treat it as a competitor. Nowadays, no monopoly, no monarchy, no competitor. All are open. You and me, all are equal. Any moment I can open a new business, e-commerce business. I can run a cloth showroom. Any time I can open online jewel business. Any time I can open online catering services. This is what uh, the today's scenario. So then how to convince the customer? How to do this all? So that is where slowly in the topic of deep learning comes into the picture. We look at every 60 second the voluminous of data is more flooding so this picture has been taken one year ago after lockdown we don't know after lockdown it has been tripled recently articles are coming up google struggling to manage the data flooding of the data they made the policy youtube is free to <clears throat> public they made the policy google search engine is free to the public blog is free to the public flooding the information is flooded around. Every minute people are recording, people are using, um, uploading video, sending, forwarding. These are all happening. How to manage this all data? How to handle this situation? How to improve the profit? How to do the business out of this all? Everything is a matter. So that is where this deep learning comes to the picture. Similarly, Moore's law. Moore's law, all of us may be aware. So this is the, nowadays they are telling dropped dramatically, cost of hard drives also dropped. Moore's law going to end, they are trying to tell. What is the end means? Moore's law, they are trying to tell, doubling the package, the performance of the device will become double. So nowadays if we look at, every gadget is becoming very smaller, the performance is more. So that hard disk, Old and days, 30 years ago, if you buy a laptop, what is the size of the hard disk? Now it is one by fourth of that hard disk. So even then, we can compute a lot, the capacity is increased. That is what most, almost what is the level we can achieve, that level we can achieve, we have achieved. So nowadays, research is going on, international level, billion dollar, million dollar kind of competition people are hosting beyond most law. Beyond Moore's law, what else is there? Till date, the entire electronics packaging services safeguarded, saved by Moore's law. Now people are thinking, think beyond Moore's law, what can happen? So that level people reached. So that is the way things are functioning. That's all. These are all nothing to worry. Look at here, machine learning, which is the language most popular and used, or deep learning, Python. This is a survey 2019 conducted. Nowadays, Python is much more uh, people are using. Future, people are expecting Julia is going to become popular because the speed, it is a lightweight uh, uh, kind of interface uh, platform. So rather than Python, this executes things faster and in a better way. So people are expecting things. This also open source. People need to contribute. Otherwise, it cannot become popular. So once uh, people are contributing to the Julia, now people are contributing more to Python, lesser to R. Uh, Julia much more lesser. The contribution is better, then that may go up. So these are the kind of prediction we should have. We should learn things, then we can up to date, we can keep moving. So now data is a new economy. Data speaks a lot. Through data only everything is happening. Ola, Uber, flight services. Look at any business. Facebook, everywhere running a business using the data. Our data is a money-making matter for most of them. So look at here. But the way of doing business will vary from everyone to everyone. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. So what is their role? Uh, this is photo sharing, text or photo messaging. Everywhere they are doing the business with the data. It changes. 
Now quickly let us look at where and all deep learning can play a role. What not is the question. But however, for the point of discussion, we can't tell no. Uh, data is everywhere, deep learning is everywhere, machine learning is everywhere. We can't tell blindly. Instead, we are trying to look at speech analytics, video analytics, image processing, gamification platform, Alpha Zero, Deep Mind, Space Research, Chatbots, Climate Analysis, Pollution Control, Article Writing, Fake Image, Fake News Reduction. Lot of fake image, fake news reductions are uh, happening. If you look at the uh, um, uh, this um, uh, social media, they will take any one of the uh, famous personality. They will put two cotton in their nose. They will tell that RPA, RIP, rest in the peace. So why they are doing like that? How to detect that fake news? How to penalize them or how to remove them? How to tag that it is a fake news? So that kind of thing are going ongoing research. And it is existing also. RNN, deep colorization, internet and the cloud, medicine and the biology, media and entertainment, security and the defense autonomous vehicle, language processing, Siri, Alexa. If you start speaking, it will reply back. Sentiment analysis, lane deduction and the traffic sign. So every learn, they will be fixing the uh, limit of speed. So beyond that, if you go, your vehicle will be tracked. So lane deduction, traffic sign. Now, uh, image annotation also have come. Image annotation also have come. If you look at the first image, a cute little dog sitting in the heart drawn on the uh, uh, sandy beach. So that, that annotation is written by uh, the AI machine, machine learning algorithm. One minute. Yeah. Similarly, here the picture is posted. Annotation is given by the uh, algorithms. A dog walking next to a little dog on top of a beach. So this is what now level had gone. Image annotation, image uh, segmentation. We saw 24 sector leveraging artificial intelligence. If you look at this picture, where and all artificial intelligence available. IoT, cyber security, smart homes, defense, social network, real estate, agriculture, healthcare, online shopping, aerospace, etc. etc. Why not? Once if we know, if we come to know these all concepts, then we need to go to the domain specific. Because every domain, the functionality in and out of the working mechanism, everything will vary. So we need to become domain expertise in that particular suitable field or multiple domain also we can work. Then every domain, the algorithm functioning, interpretation, things will become different. Similarly, if you look at Amazon, is at a war with everyone. This I have seen in the LinkedIn, I was stunned. What is a war? After that, what I am seeing, Amazon runs this all business. For every business, for every, every one of their <coughs> business, they have a competitor. If you look at Amazon, FedEx, Amazon Pay, Paytm, Google Pay also has come. So that way, <coughs> this all how they run the business because of uh, what to say, the way in which it functions, uh, machine learning and deep learning. First one, free drawing recognition to speech. So this one, these are all few applications I wanted to walk through. Then within five minutes uh, or 10 minutes, I'll wind up this, then I'll go, go on to the next um, topic of assigned topic till 2.30, 2.45. If we look at, let's draw, got it. This all artificial enabled. So for example, if I draw ball, it will try to tell. <coughs> it is telling, it is telling to me. I see circle, watermelon, baseball, bread. It is trying to tell what I have drawn. So beyond that, here is erased. Next, if I try to draw something like this, it will try to tell what it is. Apple. Just try to the teddy bear. If I put this rabbit, it is telling. Even I am I, I am assuming that it is a butterfly. It is not telling. It is giving text here. Also, it is trying to tell. 
annotation. So this is one kind of application. Uh, how it works, we don't know. That is what explainable AI. We see a lot of functions. How it is predicting, how it works, how it takes decision. These are only teachable machine. So here if you look at teachable machine, get started. We look at here. Lot of, there are several project, audio project, image project, post project, image project. So what we need to do, we need to on the camera, we can give uh, the space. What is a different, different uh, position, hold to record. So I'm giving my face. So next over record now sufficient class two class two. What can I give now different method I can give. This the same is possible for post estimation also. I'm just changing this. Next to what I can do, I need to go for train the model. Now samples are given. Now training the model. Now training is happening. After that, you can give either this post what I am seeing now or this post. So then it will predict which class, whether this belongs to class one or class two. Now once it should give that signal training. So this training time, how what is happening inside, how it is predicting is a question mark. Now I'm giving see class two. Look at here, class two. Now I'm giving class one. See the percentage is trying to give class one. Now complete coincidence class one. Now this is class two. So this is the way it works. There are several projects uh, you you will go crazy just to, you can make uh, your kids also go crazy. If you look at here, if you choose this butterfly, it will help you to complete kids training is possible. It will try to come see automatically it is trying to complete it as a butterfly. We, we have put some skeleton. It is trying to complete the rest. So this is sketch. This also artificial intelligent. So these are only a kind of uh, a tutor. I can say morning we discussed about a tutor. So these are all a tutors. It can guide people to this one next uh, calibrate. Uh, what is this one minute? So we, it will calibrate once. Uh, okay, it is saving the model. It's loading and saving the model. So it's a training. Training is going on. Calibration. So next. Uh, we move on to the next one recognition of the bounding box so face recognition is also available there are several projects collaboration nine points on the screen so we need to click this all nine points so it has some tricks so we need to go forward so then center one point will be there so after that this calibration will happen so menu recalibrate we solve you can uh, explore this next one for face recognition this one next is open cv this is javascript so bounding box it starts predicting the face of the person even anyone comes and sits near to me it will start predicting so it will put a bounding box across each and every face this is face reduction face so like this several projects we can say this all based on deep learning techniques it does this all so now let us move on to hope so where it is useful then deep style there are several things exhaustively i have prepared this harvesting this all i have taken more than three to five hours we are in the teaching profession so collecting this all always will be helpful so what is deep learning deep neural network whenever place it is deep learning neural network with the deeper or many layer this is the definition of deep learning many and many layer you will be telling deep network network of artificial neurons how neuron is functioning it has a mathematics the mathematics is uh, visually in order to understand for the human perception it is termed as neuron building blocks of the neural network what are all the building blocks we need to understand 
then we will um, go straightly. This document alone, I need to walk through for more than two and a half hours. Then I go to the topic of 245 around. We go to the topic of today's discussion. Image audio, convol convolutional neural network. This is useful for image related task several tasks associated image segmentation feature extraction classification recognition several similarly video analytics these all the topics can be carried out with a convolution neural network anybody steps into the deep learning first you need to learn a and an artificial neural network a simple neural network little bit of complex neural network you need to start with convolution neural network this is useful for object reduction facial recognition image search Pinterest, this is one of the platform you can look at a lot of interesting uh, infographics and uh, cards you will get. For as a teacher, you will get a lot of infographics from here. It will be highly aesthetic than Google image. Pinterest images are highly appreciated. You believe it or not, you just visit and you will come to know. Google image will not be that much uh, appealing, aesthetic appealing. So activity recognition. So we can go for several variants are available. Dance. This uh, uh, variant of uh, convolution neural network, one such variant I'm telling that is cancer, generative adversarial network. Natural language processing also is useful. Text and audio, anything involved with the text and audio, you need to call it as natural language processing. Anything involved with the computer vision, you need to call it as, uh, sorry, video, image and video, you need to call it as computer vision. So mostly for this recurrent neural network, you will be using chatbot, language translation, Alexa, Siri, home, summarization, several variants of uh, uh, this is RNNS, GRU, LSTM model. These two are variants of recurrent neural network. Now if you look at our first model, how it looks our first model, let us uh, consider. If you look at very first, there is a bias always there is a bias associated while learning some bias will happen even though you are learning no something you will understand wrongly say however the teacher is telling correctly some portion of comment you will uh, forget also or you will not understand also you will uh, uh, wrongly understand also this is what a human bias i mean to say similarly in the machine also wherever learning is happening there would be some bias so that bias they are fixing it as one next inputs what are all these inputs these are all if it is image the pixel value this pixel see collection of pixels together only you and me are appearing on the screen so this will the every image is differentiated based on the picture color pixel value so this is what it happens now <clears throat> next once if you feed the inputs, each and every input will be fed to the first level. Very first level before feeding, input is called as weights. The moment you are interacting with a neural network model, it is called weights. Until to the human world, it is called input. That's all. Initial weight, later on the weights are changed. Then weight summation every neuron it will have a step function something decision making is available with a neuron this neuron will take decision what to be given as a output this is how the neuron level it functions so this is important to understand what is a neuron level functioning here i said neuron level what is that neuron level every neuron tend to have two activate two activity one is summation activity thresholding activity it will put certain threshold beyond that the threshold it will treat it as one output another threshold it will treat it as another output then it will take decision what output need to be given so weights of connection all the weights arrive to the neuron will be carried out with summation weight summation weight summation is x plus x dot w plus b bias x dot w plus bias so this is the neuron mathematics already i said there is no neuron like a round color and all round with the color and all it is a kind of mathematical function that's all inputs bias 
input layer output layer hidden layer so collection of neurons will play a uh, role into hidden layer collection of neurons will constitute a single layer collection of layers will constitute a hidden layer so input layer output layer hidden layer these are all the three layers predominantly across any kind of deep learning or neural network you can notice it is available next neural network is made up of layers so that we should understand layers are made up of neurons that's all see so look at here this is the car if you treat it as visible layer input pixel pixel see this color dress this bag this band the uh, lady color face every this is greenery everything is represented based on the pixel so first visible layer this is the first hidden layer inputs are transformed uh, in this stage what is that it does is all the prominent feature it will capture next least prominent features it will have it will capture next it will capture all the features so if you look at the entire the person representation will happen here here if it is represent uh, captured as a person it will classify here car animal output layer third hidden layer next question how many layer will help for better prediction more and more the layer will give you better and better prediction but overfitting will happen too much of uh, uh, what is a perfection will happen so uh, even if you increase more layer computational time and space cpu it cannot work even with one layer please understand my laptop the first deep learning project i tried it was boiling the fan sound fan got corrupted i have replaced my fan please understand don't ever ever try your deep learning project with your cpu better safe is go to google colab and do your work so that is a safer place to carry out although codings are plenty lacks to other ports are available on the internet you need to copy paste and understand sit and read the google manual and that's it basic building block of any deep learning network is neurons then activation function weights bias feed forward feed backward propagation so backward means it will come back the feed back forward this is this model is feed forward look at all the arrow going from input layer to the output layer so this is feed forward feed backward you will get some sort of feedback from <coughs> backward recurrent neural network is example for back propagation feed forward option is available you should know error function calculation you should know hyperparameter tuning how we discussed hyperparameter tuning in the machine learning similarly for the deep learning also hyperparameter tuning is possible so these all if you know number 1 to number 8 whatever i have put you are master on deep learning you are eligible to even go and teach not only for learning that's it nothing more you need to understand when to it lot then gradient descent there are few mathematics optimization model optimization techniques next level basic level i am telling this all you should know next level model optimization technique that's all nothing more the theoretical things available next different nodes different architecture how you say different node needs and different architecture dimensionality patch size stride what is stride little bit deeper i should go what is the meaning is your image size is 250 cross 250 let us imagine <clears throat> 250 cross 250 you need to apply a convolutional filter when you are putting convolutional filter what is the size 1 cross 1 or this 1 cross 1 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 this is what they say call it a stride so every word has its own meaning similarly padding it has different meaning so you need to be thorough on this all <coughs> drop out <coughs> drop out is removing this is what model compression technique more or less drop out i can say it as a tiny part of model compression what is drop out please understand through this visual look at here i am building a model using this this is a model started building no dropout 
next just randomly this is random the explainable aa is consciously you can remove drop out is randomly more or less it is called model compression only but unconsciously we are doing <coughs> randomly you can through throw some set of neurons or some set of edges disconnecting the edges that is called drop out then drop connector suppose you are you are doing drop out then your model performance is going down your accuracy of the model going down then you can revoke back it is a kind of redo you can go for drop connect network then again you can verify how best my model is working that is what drop out drop connector another layer pooling layer finally every layer it needs to harvest you that pooling layer you can put at the end also or in between also all you need to understand the basic architecture max pool layer average layer some layer there are several ways also available for the pooling similarly activation function they uh, there are several activation function still ongoing research it is there are several new activation functions people are coming out with layers training phase only adjacent layers can get connected these are all few thumb rule you should uh, understand first layer cannot talk to 10th layer that never ever imagine adjacent layer only can get connected can communicate each other <coughs> this is called weight weight is the neuron number in the present layer which neuron number in the next adjacent layer it is communicating that is called k is adjacent layer i is a neuron number in the first layer previous layer a present layer j is a neuron number in the next layer so this is what happening a little uh, insight only i'm throwing so hidden layer look at here initial hidden layer will capture low level feature that means predominant feature next set of hidden layer will take middle level feature high level feature high level feature is suppose my face need to be formed then here only face will be formed initially some prominent feature edges it may capture nose edge lips edge then i i uh, that the corner how the eyes are uh, exhibited these kind of features it will start capturing later on it will capture all the other features now fully connected network and dense layer slowly we will go for linear pattern non linear pattern so multi layered perceptron then slowly the topic or the advancement comes this is what you should have the initial picture in layer hidden layer output layer <clears throat> next i want to give a small uh, uh, connecting all the layers together look at here this is the input image convolution is happening then pooling layer is there again convolution layer again pooling layer again fully connected layer fully connected layer output layer the number of layer type of layer intervention is up to your choice your decision so whether you are uh, aiming for lesser model complexity in your research publication or high accuracy in your research publication all depends on you you can take decision on how much you need to retain what you need to retain now what are all the parameters can be optimized number of layers number of neurons what is the initial weight you need to initialize learning rate activation function what you need to choose regularization technique what you need to choose how to detect local minima and overfitting parameters and hyperparameters what are all the parameters you need to pass what are all the hyperparameters you need to tune number of iterations whether you need to go for a drop out what percentage of drop out you need to go handling noise if the original data is having lot of noise outlier is one of the noise you can understand data noise label noise gradient noise data noise is layer outliers data manipulation technique what are all the way you are processing the data data transmission batch normalization shuffling input data augmentation these many techniques are available all together 
if you are handling then you became versatile you are uh, more good at handling things with deep learning any moment given the data you need to convert it into training data and validation data next test data three data set you need to have in order to uh, obtain the reliable model or stable model that's all uh, there are uh, so many things this are all comes into activation function activation function alone we can discuss for almost two hours in order to understand much better about activation function we need to talk about minimum two hours soft max soft plus then types of neural network here also category one is supervised unsupervised time series so these many networks are available depending upon which problem or which data we are about to solve what type of data we have we need to choose the model whether it is supervised unsupervised or time series data so uh, this is what see again supervised unsupervised deep and shallow shallow means very light network deep means highly dense so these all types see look at this one small picture with that i will stop so perceptron very minimal neuron connection is uh, perceptron feed forward radial bias network how it is interacting what is the way it is getting connected depending upon that every network is labeled and named auto encoder macro chain half field network look at the boltzmann machine <clears throat> all the neurons are densely connected so looking at this itself we can able to understand what is the way every network is functioning what is the way every network name is coined this picture is uh, sufficient for you <clears throat> so we need to handle one dimensional data two dimensional data three dimensional data video is two uh, three dimensional data two dimensional data we all know uh, uh, image is two dimensional one dimensional data all the simple data um, whatever machine learning we discuss now that all fall into one dimensional data that's it let us move on to the given topic of discussion today explainable ai from this we can understand the background of uh, deep learning yeah uh, now i would like to have a short uh, interaction um, if any one of you wanted to ask question or anything else you can come
for the internet glitches. Uh, so uh, disconnected from the session for uh, temporarily. Now let us move on to the topic of discussion. Hope so I'm audible. Uh, any one of you please acknowledge and then I can proceed further. May audible. Yeah, yeah. Huh? thank you, thank you. Yeah. Now let us move on quickly. Explainable AI, what it is. See, so far now, Although we discussed uh, deep learning uh, network, how it uh, looks uh, or how it performs a little extent, I also have put you in the black box. It is happening. This is what uh, it will do, how it will do. That's all. Nothing more I can able to explain. Whereas people are trying recent day, what is happening in the neuronal level? What is happening in the layer level? What is single layer? What is happening in the hidden layer level? What is the weight coming out? How it classifies on what learning rule it classifies that it is a cat? Classifies it is a face detection. How it is detecting the face of the person? These all are people are bringing to the white box model. This is called white box. Earlier it is called black box. So I will show you the chart when it is uh, started emerging that it is set as white box. Until 2012, it was completely black box model. What is happening inside? Nobody knows. Yes, some of this algorithm is trained. People used to build a neural network. Now, when I was doing my MTech, I used to listen. Uh, people will be training this neural network model for three days. They will on the machine. They will sit and sleep there, eat and come back. They will see for simple machine learning also, deep learning also. They used to give training for three days. Then finally, they don't know how it is giving. That's all. They do algorithm. That's all. They will do some interpretation. Finally, they say that classification. It does correct classification. That is fine. What is the reliability? What is the authenticity that my model says this? How can it depend on? How can it do it? So that is a point. It was miserable. In order to overcome that misery, people started exploring, synthesizing. They are bringing it out, revealing white, white model, domain experts. So it is a record for the domain experts. If you want to become expert in the deep learning field, you should be understanding in and out only then we can call it as domain experts there are very few handful of people only across the globe across india also people are available in the name of domain expert not all regulatory agencies see ai in policing i happened to attend during the lockdown initial period i was uh, totally uh, at a rest period very first 20 days i was into deep rest so by the time i was attending a lot of webinar one of the IAS IPS officer at Delhi, he started addressing AI in policy. That is a title. I, it was fascinating for me. It is something different I attended. So they need to apply this machine learning algorithm, deep learning algorithm, a lot of crime analysis. In that case, it should become explainable. So if you go and talk to judgment, if you say my algorithm is telling like this, you are the crime, you will be arrested. Who will agree? Human Court will, uh, Human Rights Commission will come and uh, penalize the police section. So it is a different uh, complexity arises in the law and order level. You need to justify, you need to tell, you need to explain. It is provable. Only then they can do anything so that regulatory agencies, suppose you are uh, trying to develop an application, a automated application. How that can be approved, that the product can be approved to be in the market. Yeah, that is where the explainability comes into the picture. Transparency. You should be able to tell perfectly how things are right, how things are wrong. Simply you can't tell. I have implemented CNN. I use this laptop. My output is right. You should not tell. It is not possible when it comes law and order case. Regulatory uh, regulation policies by the time it will not be useful. So that people started exploring this explainable AI managers and executive boards, decision makers. Suppose you are the Amazon proprietor. 
you so you can't rely on somebody else machine learning efficiency that person need to tell you perfectly why this model is giving this prediction really that prediction is reliable you can you take decision will it work a profitable mode or not business intelligence business intelligence completely works based on interpretability it is not scientific it is a business all the scientific phenomenon you need to bring out to suitable to the business platform or to the real world human customer that time this explainable ai what is explainable ai simple understand the deep learning every level i should be in the position to articulate i should be in the position to interpret earlier no packages available nowadays lot of tool in the neural level in the layer level in the bigger picture level final weights how it is taking decision that it is uh, uh, the person lakshmi today after this uh, lockdown in our institution uh, face recognition system they were installed they, they are installed earlier we were using fingerprint recognition now we are using face recognition how it classifies this is the person so and so this is the person so and so so this what is a threshold value it is taking to take judgment that this is i am what is the threshold value taking judgment in our institution 500 plus faculty so it is uh, recognizing 500 plus faculty including all together i mean to say so how it recognizes <clears throat> that is a black box to white box model we are all coming stepping out data scientist it is essential because they need to understand and provide the recommendations to the uh, uh, to their officials something goes wrong they will be fired out so this is these are all those stuff record for the stakeholders of ml expert yeah in machine learning also you can make it as an explainable a ensemble algorithm how it works nobody knows we will tell that these are all the four lines do it it will tell you accuracy it will tell you f1 score that's all whether that accuracy and the F1 score is reliable, then you need to open the box. The entire black box you need to open and you need to convert it into white box. That only then you can understand a lot and you can uh, keep, um, what to say, exploring a lot, error correction, model tuning and decision making, model compression, uh, what not, hyperparameter tuning, everything is possible. Only when, if we are in the position to interpret everything, what is happening in the network. In order to do that only, in this branch or this particular uh, sec section emerged. Levels of transparency. Um, finally, any new user, uh, the person who don't know what is the meaning of deep learning also. It can be a teacher, it can be a student, it can be other disciplined people, doesn't matter. But when they want to learn, if I put them in the black box, learning will become handicapped. Being a teacher, I should start explaining, this is what happening here, this is what happening here. That is where explainable AA plays a role. I will show you a couple of notebooks, nothing to worry. Transparency level one, simulatable, it should be in the position to simulate suppose you are doing with the gamification how it is uh, functioning it should be in the form of simulatable or any kind of application real-time deployment it should be simulatable transparency level decompose you should be able to decompose see if i know where it is going wrong then hybrid model comes model one benefit i can take up to this stage then i can decompose throw the remaining part of the model from I can fit another model, model 2. For that, we should be good enough. Meta learning, this is another hot core area, meta learning. If you want to do meta learning, explainable AI is much more important. So these are all the way it helps for <coughs> research or applications. Transparency level 3, algorithmic level itself, it should become the entire model, how it works, pin by pin step by step <laughs> we should be able to understand in order to teach especially yeah, explainable AI is helpful for something or not we don't know as the academician 
we all should be into explainable ai we should start developing few topics few topics we need to keep for what to say developing only then while teaching we can start explaining step by step this is what i am going to attempt uh, my next uh, project is how can i make ready for explainable ai in order to teach deep learning i i started working on it now ai system we are entering a new age of ai application machine learning is a core technology machine learning models are opaque that what is happening inside we are not a mystery mystery we can say something like that we are not uh, having clear idea non intuitable you can't assume also you can't guess also difficult for people to understand to overcome this all problem people are going for um, explainable ai in which security transportation medicine medicine especially we should understand no without that okay i am giving my brain mri uh, image it is telling there is a problem it is telling there is no problem both are danger no having problem it tells this also even if it predicts perfectly also on what basis which are all the region it is considering prominently why the algorithm is taking this decision it is life or death matter finance is also life or death matter due to loss share market loss my own friends i have seen how much they have suffered they have come to the street from the loyal life to beggar life they have come so finance is also a matter legal if i don't prove you properly how can i put you in the jail not at all possible in people will not get convinced so i need to prove the person military so everywhere is important why did you do that explainable ai why not something uh, why not something else when do you succeed when do you fail when can i trust you how can i correct an error these are all the question anybody ask now you you are in the position to answer otherwise it's very difficult okay simply we can't tell i have done python coding error fixing itself i have taken two days i worked hard and i came to know this many topic theoretically so that my model is good you can't claim no you need to prove stage by stage yeah previously how it was there training the data machine learning process learned function task and user explainable ai new machine learning process they are incorporating explainable mode explanation in interface user now people are telling with this um, i understand why i understand why not i know when you succeed i know when you fail i know when to trust i know why you are uh, erred, errored so these are all the questions we can answer look at here every stage explainable ai can give what is happening internal what is the weight how it is calculating on what basis it is simulated this can be extracted with the recent technologies that is where right from 2012 onwards it is started but now it is in the peak it will give the rule also on what basis of rule it is classifying fraudulent yes not a fraudulent how it is classifying that is possible to extract it out now look at who why domain experts user of the model users of the model medical doctors insurance agent trust the model itself gain scientific knowledge regulatory entities certify model compliance with the legislation in force audits next managers executive board very first i start and know for that the explanation why this explainable ai it's short form people are calling xa in english it is called as explainable ai Uh, the notational form xa both are same only nothing to worry of that so here just uh, justification why this this professional should be knowing explainable ai for that answer uh, these are all the source you, you can read this paper fantastic paper 
i just accepted this topic for this workshop then i explored uh, till uh, that moment i don't know what is it except the definition so within this uh, four or five days only i have compiled i understood it is uh, easy to pick up you can go through that paper look at here initial part they called it as interpretable ga next they call it as xa now they are calling it as explainable ga this has emerged right from 12 it is going all the three key terminologies are going to the peak level why they have brought the, the same explainable a is important for uh, model compression also that is why i have combined these two topic together model compression and explainable ai look at here it says original image electric guitar and acoustic guitar it is telling explaining electric guitar on what kind of coefficient this is called coefficient for what coefficient it is telling like this for what coefficient is telling like this so slowly people are making it to become white box model now black box this is ml model decision tree rule based training knn already white box model these are all the pure white box model already exist these all are explainable that is the beauty of this three now all other models people are attempting to make it as explainable here look at here this is the chart transparent model what are all available logistic linear regression decision tree nearest neighborhood rule based general additive model bayesian model these all are tra transparent already there are few things nowadays people are attempting which is highest toughest field is deep learning neural network model is that also people are making it out look at here neural network neuron level channel level layer level what are all the features it captures how it looks everything people are capturing everything people are magnifying because of these only i want to interact with you what is the latest breakthrough in the medical field ah is it suggest yeah definitely rajkumar you can apply explainable ai on ml model yes uh, the notebook i am going to show you only then you can write as a researcher you can write you can compile your thesis a paper publication you can write a lot otherwise you can't articulate explainable ai especially for you it suits i can't generalize now come on tell me what is the latest breakthrough in the medical field anyone knows latest breakthrough in the medical field hot topic past 3 days hot topic especially within this week every where i was looking at that please a lot of breakthrough is happening with ai now see i am looking at my google page it is telling hokkaido university electronic amoeba analog computer find shift solution on the traveling salesman problem largest traveling salesman problem is solvable <coughs> what is the breakthrough in the medical field happen at least google it and tell me yeah, please breakthroughs 2020 also if you type it will tell you <coughs> one of the largest breakthrough the thing is the mutation folding mutation folding it started people started finding it out what you were gene mutation folding so that is more than sufficient they believe that lot of things can happen in the medical field this is a latest news in the last one week people can see how the gene mutation is happening mutation folding they have 
brought out so the, the through that if you understand this model interpretability model accuracy deep learning now still the research is going on explainable ai already what is transparency is rule based learning all the rule based learnings are transparent linear logistic they made to become transparent decision they made to become transparent knn they made to become transparent generalized additive model they made to become transparent bayesian models they made to become naive bayes algorithm probability based then they made svm to become transparent ensemble to become transparent deep learning also they are made to become transparent but not all the neural network at least convolution neural network they can make it as absolutely transparent still they are evolving they are working on <laughs> next field is hybriding hybrid modeling approach i said no you can throw part of the model you can couple with the other model new explainability preserving modeling approaches interpretable feature engineering normally we do feature engineering whatever we know whatever we learned whatever comes to our mind now by looking at the weights and the levels and each and every stages you can go for interpretable feature engineering i think rajkumar you can attempt with the explainable ai for all your models in the next paper so that would be the worth enough to move with the uh, justifying your phd dissertation post hoc explainability technique interpret interpretability driven model design what is the thing is post hoc is post training after training how you will be interpreting the weight interpreting each and every parameters that is where much more important much more um, things are happening this is the um, holistic picture of explainable ai look at here especially data fusion this is explainable ai is highly essential look at here data multiple sources of data are integrated before going to the model itself see machine learning model is here before going to the model itself you will be doing all the data fusion this is a bit easier look at here data machine learning data machine learning then model fusion how you can do model fusion without understanding what's happening inside next is knowledge representation knowledge fusion they are going for meta knowledge meta uh, parameters learning algorithms whatever is brought out on that level they are doing knowledge fusion so these are all the arena starts uh, emerging based on this explainable ai that's all then data and the model fusion data and the uh, weight see split map reduce here also you will be in the need of uh, explainable ai this are all the way data fusion can happen now this explainable ai how it justifies privacy fairness ethics transparency accountability security and safety now it is possible to provide the security for your model security for your application that is called responsible ai you can look at this word recent days revolving around responsible maybe 2 3 months ago only i started looking at this word very first time i was shocked what is this responsible ai whether we are i am using irresponsible ai i thought then i explored this a responsible ai yes it should be accountable it should have the privacy fairness everything transparency how i am taking decision these all called responsible ai otherwise based on machine learning see for example if you are going for intelligent tutoring system you need to grade the student you need to judge the quality of the student you are depending upon the machine in that scenario it should become transparent it should have ethics and fairness that all need to imbibe only then people will agree the evaluation taken care by machine see although we are human i don't like roll number 10 let us take for example due to some bias but if somebody enquires me i can justify why i am reducing this roll number 10 mark i have plenty of reason to justify and uh, put allegations on him 
but machine how you will go and put the allegation not possible so that it should become more responsible <clears throat> if you look at what if tool what if tool you can may use this xg boost and this all scikit learning model anything we discussed in my past interventions of uh, three sessions every where i used a uh, scikit learn only any model you develop using scikit learn model can be synthesized taken it out using this what if to also it does tensor flow model you can develop models this all uh, some other session i addressed and right now no time keras so there are several way you can approach the model deep neural network model so the based on that they will be calling tensor flow model so it is useful for analyze the models deployed in addition to tensor flow models deployed model also it analyzes and deploy once it is deployed to the website in the engine how you can analyze how you can trust the results produced by your algorithm how you can monitor that is where what these are all the tools comes in what if tool viewed on data set in the what if tool model has been deployed see its performance can be viewed <clears throat> after the deployment any cloud platform you can keep watching that progress the data set line is next local interpretable model algoristic explain explanations something like that there is a line what it is doing line number of dimensions are high then it is hard to understand it is useful here it is useful always for synthesizing and knowing much better see it is useful for optimization aspect interpretable aspects so every tool has its own merit and its own limitations so we can't criticize it every vendor they will target some specific or sharp problem they will be covering that a deep lift it gives a separate consideration to positive and negative contributions every model each neuron to its reference activation how it is active activated with respect to the previous according to the difference contribution scores according to the difference so it starts comparing activation of each neuron to its reference activation how every neuron is activated on what basis every neuron is activated that level we can go and synthesize we say activated neuron inactive neurons we used to call if it is activated neuron how you will find out on what basis it is activated this deep lift you can install and you can work with the python itself so you can use pip install deep lift uh, there is sharp one more this one shortly i'm going to come sharp deep lift elify e l i f i one more is available e l i f i this also you can use sharp you can use for the um, this kind of uh, explainable ai with python i mean to say so with the python you can make use of this one but other tool i don't know skater i think skater also you can use with python yeah skater also you can use with python these four you can use shapely so these are all this shapely sharp python they show short they call sharp so using these all you can uh, keep exploring how the model is explainable ai is possible ai explainability 360 this is ibm product next is google open ai they do have their own explainable ai rulex explainable ai so there are several explainable ai tools are available what is the ultimate goal trusting especially transfer knowledge transfer learning this is a hot core area transfer learning is today when transfer learning you need to use there are two circumstances data is lesser you don't have good computational power that means your computation time you don't have or you don't have the resource <clears throat> these two situation you need to go for transfer learning this is otherwise called pre-trained models pre-trained models are taken retrain will happen then testing will happen from pre-trained to 
retrain retrain to test from the test validation will happen this is what the concept called transfer learning especially transfer learning this explainable a is highly justifiable now let us move on to the next topic after theory i will walk through a couple of notebooks then we can wind up model compression uh, in 2012 alexa net this is the winning competition million billion dollars uh, one lakh image they need to classify one lakh image hundred types of labels imagine size we are uh, afraid of doing thousand image also that uh, headache such a headache uh, uh, field is deep learning learning i feel so interest but when it comes uh, without the gpu i feel so irritating that is the way i'm suffering uh, i thought of buying shortly gpu i'm waiting for the institution to give otherwise i will buy shortly so the problem is <coughs> the competition was uh, if you look at 20 years ago 2012 i'm telling you imagine 2012 before 11 also 10 also google how they will label the images they will apply appoint a human human will be labeling the images they will tell whatever that human says that this is butterfly means butterfly my photo also people can label it as butterfly purposely or unknowingly then whenever my face uh, you are typing butterfly it will appear so that is the way human only takes decision towards uh, labeling the image managing the image later on this alex image in the competition now uh, they were released with one lakh image 100 category first time prediction 100 or thousand yeah thousand thousand category one lakh image M machine need to predict thousand images peacock crow uh, parrot something like that lotus and that it should uh, start categorizing that competition uh, won the success story that 62 million trainable parameter understand the number of parameters worked on that classification is 62 million you and me cannot compute these all guys now big big guys grid computing pervasive computing cloud computing distributed computing these all guys use those kind of technology you and me no voice others the same manner only i'm talking uh, anyone please acknowledge <coughs> is it audible now rajkumar is it audible now yeah fine maybe rajkumar and need to verify so now we are then they started with um, this competition 62,000 <coughs> billion trainable parameters subsequently 2014 VGG net another competition so this VGG net also have come up with 138 million trainable parameters imagine how you can store the parameters it is a transfer learning transfer learning is transferring earlier model um, output you will be taking with your new data you can blend and you can retry then you can test face recognition you can take this all kind of net image net like that because you if you want to classify there is one paper i have come across that uh, deep learning model will rate the person's beauty only for women they have done the picture of the women is given my picture or any women picture is given it will say the beauty level uh, low beauty i don't know that label i have come across it. so they use the transfer learning technique so only thousand images they would have taken the known circle or female pictures then they were training then they need to label now human need to label uh, this lady is beautiful this lady is average looking good looking or fair looking bad looking that all label need to be done that thousand image um, images are more than sufficient they can train and they can predict the beauty of the person so that these are all the models now made readily available in all the kind of deep learning packages but the question is 
look at the million number of parameters itself millions my own laptop may not suitable for this one even though gpu laptop takes also it is time consuming space consuming so that only people gone for model compression first reason then look at alexa net becomes uh, double uh, time 62 138 million uh, th this vgg net becomes double ads now another motivation sorry this uh, wrongly placed in this picture <coughs> look at uh, mb 200 mb 240 mb 6.9 mb they have done model compression technique now only people can use it otherwise you and me cannot use the concept called transfer learning vgg 49 times they have reduced 552 mb to 11.3 mb they have reduced why this model compression is important apps above 100 mb cannot be downloaded without wifi through wifi only it is possible to download the energy consumption by the mobile imagine drain your mobile will drain out large file system may not be supported by mobile so for the mobile application that is called edge computing for the edge computing only model compression field evolved emerged all the mobile developers only motivated for the model compression techniques why that is called the topic called model compression these are all transfer learning concept these are all competition net large scale they will try those parameters they will save it in a file that parameters learnable weights and learning parameters are transferred the transferred parameters we can use for our application layers parameters these all error i don't know what is this macc coefficient something so these all have ha happened how what are the techniques available to reduce the complexity of the model or model compression number one is pruning as much as possible removing we were doing drop out no now purposely we are for with the strategically we need to approach remove the neurons lesser important neurons we need to remove the edges pruning the neurons pruning the edges or connections or edges so these two are reduced this is called pruning we need to scan from one layer to another layer how many connections can be removed how many neurons can be removed this layer to this layer similarly one by one this is called pruning technique this is popular than all other technique next is quantization dnn quantization what they are doing is every weight representation 32 bit representation what is the value so the moment it the weights are generated they will convert it into
I have unmuted. When I muted, uh, here, quantization, did you listen? Quantization, quantization is two to the power. Uh, two to the power, only quantization. What is the meaning is every weight, if you allow to represent weights of uh, neuron, every neuron has a weight. That weight, if you are representing with a higher bit, then that is one way of bulky model. If you are reducing to lesser bits representation of the neuron weight, that is called quantization method. So the weight information, whatever comes, I will be reducing the number of bits. When I reduce the number of bits, what is the left out information? That information alone I will pass on to the next level. Left out information only I will pass on to the next level. With that, is it possible to retain the accuracy? is the point of discussion with respect to quantization knowledge distillation <coughs> this is where teacher student model they will be developing one master model perfect model from the perfect model all the distilled knowledge means all the important weights learning parameter these all passed on all the important matrices are passed very minimal amount of model is transferred here these two combined distilled knowledge and minimal network is combined these two are passed on to the are constructed as one model this is called student model this is original model the student model performance is evaluated tuned then if it works better this will be deployed into edge devices or mobile devices this is another technique called another technique of model compression selective attention another uh, technique of cell model compression is selective attention look at here this is the actual scene blurred all the unwanted informations information are blurred what is wanted information this female model that's all so this is highlighted restored blurred so selective attention low rank factorization what is happening happening is Finally, the weight matrix will be, weights are represented in terms of matrix. Matrix algebra is the primary role in machine learning. So these weights, ranks are calculated, lower rank of matrix is represented. Lower rank is considered for further factorization or further decision making. One minute. Sir, so long, sir. Now. So, sorry for the interruption. So, these are all the way it uh, happens for model compression. So, every topic is emotion. If you want to learn about model compression, this is fabulous GitHub link I have come across. This is the author who have written book hands-on coding for explainable AI. The same author have written. Uh, yeah, I have muted Sojinema. Um, actually, there was a call, so I have muted. So this author released for the sake of attracting uh, the, what to say, audiences, 10 chapters he have brought freely to the GitHub. He is asking to pay us only $5 for rest of the chapters also. So very fabulous. It, it has lots of hands-on. This is meant for only explainable A hands-on. Further reading, this is for theoretical understanding. You can use these two. Then let us move on to the Google notebook. For at least 10 minutes, I wanted to give uh, uh, explainable AI. 
look at here quickly i will walk through this then next there are some five notebooks i have brought i don't know how much i can explain look at here because evening time you need to wind up you may be catching up the buses i cannot delay more than five four five or four ten that's all so these are all the packages very new packages decision tree we are making it to become explainable yeah that is where you can learn quickly very complex model if i am talking about it is very bit difficult so important import pickle this is new file what is the pickle file is always say understand the concept list uh, set um, um, what else available list set dictionary these are all the data structures so these data structure whatever the info data frame this all called the data structure the word anywhere you call in the world data structure that is related to primary memory database the moment you call the word that is related to secondary memory whenever the information first primary memory to secondary memory you are uh, placing that time serialization should happen similarly secondary memory to primary memory data you are pouring deserialization should happen so in order to do that they are using this nothing more because lot of weights learnable parameters we are going to save in your file how to look at your weights and learnable parameter only i am going to address in this notebook whenever you are storing all the learnable parameters and the weights you are dumping targeting to the secondary memory then serialization is required for that the pickle file is brought that's all now this one import os this is usual these two coding what i used to say the same look at here this is a code you need to write as such what is available save what is the beauty of this code is <clears throat> you can directly take the data file from the github you no need to download you no need to make your hard disk to go uh, nasty so your hard, my laptop i don't know cleaning itself it will take 5 days so much stuff i have downloaded so much stuff need to be cleaned the unwanted wanted so many technical uh, stuff only there is no no entertainment no entertainment stuff will be there uh, in my laptop for that itself i need to do lot of cleaning instead you can bring the data source from the internet <coughs> from the github in order to bring the github you can use this you need to change the github link nothing more you need to do with the coding changes the code data which is considered is autopilot data csv what and all the field available average load speed of load <coughs> time something so this is the data set let us assume next column names are f1 f2 f3 f4 label these are all the columns so this how the column looks this is the way it looks we all know these all again and again i don't want to repeat x y board for me so next look at here the estimators what is the model we used to call model the model which you are interested for is decision tree now these are all hyper parameter these are all hyper parameter we are just seeing the manual also we can see that's all now this is the model prediction is ready accuracy is 100% 100% accuracy <clears throat> that is fine especially if you are having more accuracy only you should be more careful see how the weights and the parameters can be transferred look at here pickle dot dump estimator this is what your model estimator is the name of the model you can give lakshmi also but whichever you want you can give the name of the model variable so you are keeping that model comma you are opening the file save file pt dot sav wb read write binary right binary is called serialization that is where you are in the need of pickling this is called pickling so you are taking all those parameters associated information with estimator to the file you are dumping <coughs> now 
the next look at here entire decision tree is out you can sit and zoom and you can see see it is allowing to zoom zoomification every level what is the guinea coefficient which feature what is the level it is choosing what is sample number uh, sample percentage 38.9 percentage what are the values associated whether it is class is right class or left class all the pinpoint detail it is transparent now <clears throat> now you can rely on 100 percent it is telling also after going through if it is justifiable you can rely on the data say i am zooming out you can just scroll your mouse for zooming in it will allow you to understand every pinpoint information so too much is zooming one minute Control plus plus for outside. Oh my God. Inside control uh, mouse. You need to zoom this figure with the mouse. Outside you need to zoom with control plus control minus. So it's enough. This figure. So next is. What else I want? Every level I want. Numerically I want. Earlier graphical. Tree node count, number of nodes, how many, number of children left side, <coughs> number of children right side, estimated tree feature, which is the feature is used for estimation, threshold, everything I want. So next you need to give, this is what explainable AI, this is what you are telling to explain. Very basic AI, look at here. Or rules it is telling very 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 clearly node 0 test node go to node 1 else node 92 yeah how perfect it is look at here complete information it will throw the entire if then rule decision tree is simple if then else model nothing more very very simple rule based model is decision tree but for the mathematics is used is probability based on mathematics guinea coefficient or entropy technique that's all displaying smaller graph so this is you need to click here then you need to magnify using simple you can use mouse for magnification that's all so next ethics and bias in the model now whatever it is a dumped dump you can't open no you don't have appropriate software to see you need to dump and you can see through the coding see after that it gives if you print this all step by step it will give you the values except for the except to this all you can able to get it as output true one false zero if you give the word alert kill switch activator so this is a comment trying to give it is classifying how that's all model interpretation frameworks elifi skater sharp so th this using this all i was fighting a lot of bugs i stopped yesterday night 11 o'clock i explored so after that there is no patience so i stop let us move on to the one more code very quickly maybe in uh, 10 minutes i can uh, wind up nothing to worry if you have urgent, you can uh, make a move. Uh, see, very first convolution neural network. This is perfect example for um, uh, explainable AI. So I cannot able to explain this one by one. Mobile net transfer learning, VGG16 is all the technique used. If you go here, where I say this is called explainable AI. What layer? max pool layer what is the shape number of parameters involved dropout every pinpoint detail i am having this is called explainable ai model training after model training number of epochs everything testing what is a test loss prediction this is what prediction the given the image it says that it is six predicted digit is six this is a digit classification famous digital coding is available in the internet also applications of convolution 
mobile net we are using transfer learning model mobile net model for that is plain convolution neural network after mobile net model what are all the parameters it gives the complete report this is called explainable ai total parameters how much trainable parameters non trainable parameters how much so getting these all details classify image then extract classify image so this image need to be predicted as what image you should say fountain and uh, pan pipe starfish west highland white earth weather body soil we need to extract cnn feature so cnn features are extracted see all the features are extracted model dot predict feature extraction this is called explainable ai next deep convolution neural network extracting data this is the data extraction model building training every epoch training accuracy testing accuracy activation values and the plotting this is what input image look at here every activation layer how it looks in this look at here this filter is much more better filter 2 we can understand why this activation layer is not giving best accuracy why it is giving so if we understand activation layer level it is possible for us to have clear picture we look at here very distorted filter 4 never ever you should use look at filter 2 much more perfect so this is how you need to take decision next activation in layer 2 layer 2 which is doing best that is layer 1 layer 2 filter 1 is doing best this is how you need to take decision layer 3 <coughs> then uh, influence of convolution size which convolution is doing better for that 3 cross 3 convolution for that summary report 7 cross 7 convolution for that summary report i haven't executed after this point yes. trading 7 cross 7 convolution then padding how padding how pooling everything we can transparently look at and take decision so this is called explainable ai with that note even i feel so tired because of day long session let me conclude with that note because it's a never ending topic whatever is available if i keep speaking no sufficient uh, time will be there yeah let me know if anything else uh, need to be discussed um maybe this uh, last session for me wish you all success thank you for uh, giving me an opportunity the team from uh, Anamacharya Institute and Hachwad Madam and the coordinator and the entire organizing team. Heartfully, I thank for giving me an opportunity. Almost five sessions they have invited. Uh, thankful for you, and uh, I thank for all the audiences and the participants for uh, active participation and listening to the five days, uh, five sessions of uh, uh, delivery. So with that, I wish you all success. Thank you, one and all. If anything. you have to be communicated you can communicate <clears throat> yeah thank you sojini madam yeah yes ma'am yes ma thank you madam thank you for a valuable presentation yeah and uh, dear participants uh, do you have any doubts please yeah this is what my uh, what yeah put it in the chat box yeah i have shared my whatsapp number anyone wanted to have any technical discussion you can communicate after 6 o'clock uh, most of the day i'd be either in my college uh, teaching or in the session <laughs> so uh, it's a uh, very hectic for me to find a time but however i will try managing so this is the number i have shared in the chat window a uh, couple of members asked for the number uh, 
So I have revealed the number. Already I have put the slide, but by the time you would have not noticed or you would have not there. So anyway, I have shared. Yeah, fine. There is no more message, madam. Always deep silence. Either they all know or they are not mm -hmm. attending the session. Two only conclusion. <laughs> So uh, we can't do anything, everything known person. We can't do uh, anything with uh, nothing known person. So that's all. Okay. Now what are thanks by Banerjee, madam? Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Isma. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good yeah, evening, pardon? one and all. This is Sheikh yeah. Banerjee. Yeah, Sheikh Banerjee. Yeah, yes, ma'am, please, sir. Yeah. Yeah, this is Sheikh Banerjee, assistant professor from Department of ECE, AITS Tirupati. I okay. deem it a great honor and privilege to propose my vote of thanks on behalf of management, principal, HOI, HOD, department and faculty members. First and foremost, I thank Dr. D. Lakshmi Garu for accepting our invitation. The presentation on this topic regarding the are very informative and interesting. Uh, despite of your busy schedule, has found time to grace these sections. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for spending your valuable time and sharing your knowledge with us. Hope uh, we expect a lot of sessions like this in future. So last but not least, we thank all the participants who attended this session. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your uh, note. Thank you all. Yeah, thank Please you. Please give your feedback in the WhatsApp group. Thank you, madam. Thank you, ma'am. I shall leave from the session, ma'am. Wish you all success. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. The participants uh, can leave the sessions, and uh, the sessions from tomorrow will start at 10 o'clock. The feedback link will be shared soon to your WhatsApp groups. And also recordings will also of past sessions also be uh, sent in your WhatsApp group. So thank you. Thank you all the participants for your patient listening. And please give your feedback uh, regarding all the sessions.